Dear friends, today is Wednesday, Inspiration Series number 158, and we're focusing on the life lessons of Avraham, the first Jew, and Sarah, his wife. And we see a side of Abraham, of how he related to his family. As we know, family was very important. It's very important to Jewish people. Family to us is the most important thing. A parent, father, a mother, especially mothers. Everything is about the family. At the center of Jewish life, the center of the Jewish people is the family. Now, Avraham had a nephew who he sort of adopted because his father died young, connected to... Abraham, and he felt the responsibility to, to take care of his nephew. But his nephew was not the best character. And as honest and as straight as Avraham was, his nephew was crooked and just felt entitled. And it came to a point where Avraham felt that his nephew, when they were living in Israel, his sheep were grazing in other people's fields, and he was telling everyone, well, Israel will one day belong to Abraham, and I'm going to inherit him or my children because he has no children. And that, that real sense of entitlement, and I don't care if you think I'm stealing, uh, doesn't make a difference, it's mine anyways. To the point where it was very difficult for Abraham to, to continue living amongst these people while his nephew was blatantly disregarding the proper ways of living, the proper moral behavior. On the other hand, his nephew, living in Abraham's house and being brought up by Abraham, had some very good qualities. One, when Abraham had to save his life when he went to Egypt, by telling them that Sarah is his sister, he played along to help save Abraham. That hospitality of which Abraham was renowned for, Lot fulfilled as well, even in Sodom, a place where it was dangerous to be hospitable. But yet, he went out of his way to be hospitable, and actually that separated him from his wife and why he survived the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah and not the, his wife. So Abraham had, had an issue, how do I deal with my nephew? And what he told him was, eventually, that Lot... I care about you. I'm concerned and will always look out for you. But living here with me is not doing good for you or for me. And for the ability for my people, my workers, to stay straight and follow in the path that I've given them. So let's separate. Go to an area not far from here and I will always be there to look after you. And when he and his entire household was in danger as they were taken captive in a battle, Abraham rolled up his sleeves and rescued him, and in the meantime, rescued his entire city. So we see here a very important lesson of how we have to deal with family, because no one is perfect, and some of the people we love just because they're our family, have qualities, and qualities that be very, may very much be part of our family tradition and culture and way of living, and they may have faults, they may have different types of standards that are not up to us. And is it black and white that you just push someone away and you say, you're not in line with me, if you weren't family, I would never talk to you. Now that you have crossed the line, it's over, I will never talk to you. It's the mixture of love, but yet being a true, devoted, caring parent, doing what needs to be done to help the person shape into a better person. And that's what Avram tried to do. He says, here, I outshine you. Perhaps you think you'll never amount to much because you'll never match me. But if you go somewhere else, perhaps 
because you're better off than most people, and your behavior is better, even though it's not up to our standards, better than most people, maybe there you'll stand out and you'll shine out, and you'll be able to uh, be, take pride in the fact that you, you have a higher standard. And, and this is so, too, the way that we have to deal with our situation. You have to love on one side, and let them always feel the love and the closeness and the caring. But sometimes you got to have discipline and strength and not just pass everything through because we're not doing a favor for our children and families. And this is in good times, even in difficult times. Jews did not stop working hard to bring up good children and a good future just because times were difficult. Because the love was there the children ultimately realize, even if not right away, it was done with the best intention and for their benefit. So, something so important to learn from Abraham, because he ended up doing it to his son, born to Hagar, his maidservant, they had to send him away, because he was eating up and everything that Abraham stood for in terms of his faith and religion and eventually, as we're told, Yishmael repented, did Teshuvah. And when his father was buried, he came back and he recognized all the beautiful things his, his father did to him, even if at the time it seemed harsh. Family matters, and how we take care of family matters even more. Have a great day and God bless you.